Hey guys, Crazy 45 Cat here. You know it's the end of the month. It's about quarter to six, and you know it. Seafood pasta time. First time, I think, this month. 30 days, maybe. Got my birthday coming up this weekend, so I'm uh, cooking up a feast. We're going to have some uh, scallops. Oh, these are almost done. Man, oh man, oh man. You should have seen the eyes on these guys. Man, they made you feel guilty put them in there. No, not me. So that's a pound and a half of scallops, two pounds of fresh shrimp, a loaf of Cuban bread. Oh, man, you got to have that bread and some butter. Ooh-wee! A little olive oil, man. A little bow tie wrapped in there. And let's see what's over here. Let's see. Excuse me. I guess, wow, it's getting hot already. Woo wee! Looks like a snapper attack. Well, I'm back in there, and you can see it. Oh man, oh man, oh man, look at that. Can you see that? Let's get in close. Oh, bubbling goodness there. Oh man, oh man, oh man. And, uh, that's about it. Cooking here for a little bit. What's that over there? Hmm. The PM45? The cat still has that? Hard to believe, huh? So I got a little audience here waiting on me. I got the Kimber girl. Crazy. Crazy cat. Everybody's waiting for dinner, so I come first when it comes to dinner. And somewhere around here, oh yeah, 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 yeah. There it is, right over there. Ooh, wee, that looks good. All right, so you want the ingredients? Let me know. Send me a PM. I'll send it to you. We're gonna send it out to a couple of guys. But this stuff is really, really good, good for you. In that big old pot, I cook it all in. After tonight's dinner and all, or a couple of nights. It'll eventually get down to the smaller porcelain pot. Somewhere along the line, I lost the middle pot. I think I, I think I made some for somebody 10 or 15 years ago. I never got the pot back, but oh well. Those are cast iron pots with the uh, porcelain tops on them, man. They're they're just unbelievable. Great things to cook with, and uh, that's it. That is a snapper, right? Yeah, that's not a snapper. It's not a redfish. See, there's no nothing on the tail there. So, I hope you guys are having a great night. It's about 82 degrees today. Oh, let me stir these babies up. Yeah, I'll show you a quick little process here. Bear with me. You have to look at the empty burner here for a second. You slip over here. Back over here, throw a couple slabs of butter in there. The scallops were raw, the shrimp were pre cooked. So we'll get some of that butt terror going there. Ain't she just a beauty? Woo wee, that PM45. You know, I had to repaint the size twice with. Dodge white touch up paint because I blew the sides, the whites right out of these sides. Other story. So we got the butter melting up here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And I just use cheap, cheap cooking wine. This one actually has a cork on it. Normally I buy that cheap ass, uh, screw top wine on there. Get this bread out of the way. Cuban bread, man, you can't get nothing better than that. I don't know. Some guys like heroes, I like Cuban bread. So, there we go. Butter's all melted up. Ah! Oh, wait, almost forgot. Oh my god, talking about wine, we forgot the wine. So, liberal amount of wine. You want these guys to saute a bunch. That's how much wine we use in the whole cooking process. Turn that baby up. 
and pour the shrimp in there. Can you hear him screaming? Screaming, screaming, screaming shrimp. Let them boil up real good there and have wine and they'll be done. Then I'll need to go ahead and uh, cook up the old elbows, mix it all together. And it'll just be fine, it'll just be perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. So hope you guys have a good night. Enjoy your weather if you got it. If not, oh well. As long as you're safe, that's the main thing. Safety first. We did a little switch up this time. Had one of my barter guys come in and give me some fresh tomatoes, so we Substituted a couple of cans of tomatoes for fresh tomatoes. See how that works out. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. This is what I normally use: the Hunts diced tomatoes. Gotta add that at the end. Uh, my cayenne and curry are the, one of the last things to put in there. Really gives it a good old bite. You know, I like spicy food, so that really makes a difference. Okay, so this is cooking, uh, that's cooking how we do it, and it's what, almost five to six now. Oh, that's good. So I don't want to do a 20 minute video on, uh, cooking this stuff. It actually takes an hour, hour and a half to cook it, um, but it's going to last a week. I'm going to do some New York strips, I think, and lobster thermidor Saturday night on those lobsters I was given, and uh, that should be enough for the weekend. And I'll probably go to Hooters tomorrow night, or, uh, or I should say Friday or Sunday. And that'll be it. All right, guys, have a great uh, rest of the week, and... Uh, Let's take one more peek in here. Let me get my glove. Let me get my snapper. Oh yeah, that's not a red snapper, that's just a regular mango snapper. Red snappers look totally different, don't they? Oh. Let's take a peek. Oh. Goodness, right there. If I could ship this stuff UPS, buddy, I'd be shipping some up to my buddy Mike. Because he knows how to cook and how to eat. Alright. Wow, that's not great. I'll cut this off now. Before I have too much fun. And, uh, hope you guys have a great night. We'll see ya.